Good morning, Katie. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Very well, thanks. Very well. Um, we got one minute to go and lots and lots of people joining us. Hi, Amanda and Amy and Andrew and Brian, Christina, Jason, Jennifer, Kane, Lisa, Lynn, Mary, Megan, Melinda, Michelle, Nick, Nikki, Stella, Sandy. Whoa, so many people. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. It's nine o'clock. My name's Anthony Bartlett. I'm the CEO, co-founder, and guy who stayed up late at night and at weekends building the thing with some friends. And um, I am joined by uh, Katie Thompson, our illustrious uh, employee and chief operating manager who has a finger in all the pies and keeps me on the straight and narrow on these calls. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Um, so I am full of beans this morning uh, because I just had nine and a half hours sleep, which <laughs> I haven't had nine and a half hours sleep in years. And I'm very stoked about it. And I think it's because I am doing something rather special this year. I'm doing uh, the whole 30. Some of you may have heard of it. Uh, some of you may even be on it on this call. Can we do a little poll, see who's on the whole 30 and who's not? Absolutely. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it a little bit at the top of this call just to show you what I'm up to. Um, and then I'm going to go um, back down to, oh, great. So some people are doing the whole 30, some people not. Um, but I'm just going to talk about it for a second. And then I'm going to talk about, you know, just real plans in general that applies to both whole 30 years, non whole 30 years. Um, because, yeah, I'm just having, I'm having a really good experience. So um, can you see my screen, the, the food is love? We cannot uh, see your screen yet. Hang on a minute. Let me just share this like so. How about now? Perfect. Yep. Great. Okay. So this is um this is my whole 30. And uh, what I did is I started my whole 30 um at the beginning of January. And uh, I, you know, it set up my diet type and all this kind of stuff. And um, I just want to show you what I've already done um, here, and I'll show you uh, what happened. It was actually last week. I'm going to go, here we go. So the interesting thing about Hopefully, this is a template that I put in, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and I completed these first two days. And after eating just this food, I have just had the longest sleep um, ever. I, I love sugar myself and cake and pastries and all, all the things. And uh, so Whole30 is where you, you just eat uh, meat and vegetables and, and, uh, and you stay off sugar and, you know, kind of, uh, you, you basically find some freedom with your food so you don't connect to candy in quite the same way. And it's just been fantastic. And to know that I've had the most amazing sleep ever is just a personal testimonial of how eating in a different way and how food really is love is just awesome. But I know I'm preaching to the choir here because we have lots of people here who are wanting to meal plan and do stuff. So welcome everybody and uh, welcome to an excited, um, hang on, let me turn off Skype because I've got a million. That's our tech team, by the way, who are constantly working on, on everyone's behalf to um, kind of keep real plans moving forward. We're a very, young and, and uh, enthusiastic company, I'm constantly changing things and working on things. So let's scale it right back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, even though it's my plan, I'll reinstate it. Um, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, I'm going to turn off all 30 and I'm going to simplify things a lot. Um, I'm going to turn off the functions here and I'm going to walk you very slowly <clears throat> how I see real plans and how a lot of our um, successful subscribers see real plans. And hopefully this will give you some inspiration on A, how to, how to use it, get it done, and also some tips and tricks and uh, things on how to, how to make it really run very successfully for you. So here's um, the settings page. So I'm over here. I click, if you click on the cog, you will be on the same place here. This is, I'm just showing you the website version. Um, you can easily do all of this 
on your cell phone as well. We have like an iOS and Android app. So let's start right at the beginning. Each week, Real Plans will give you a suggested meal plan, a re you know, a, 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 just a suggestion and a set of recipes and a shopping list and a timeline based on a diet and a schedule. So let's talk about what this means. By diet, people typically, when you say diet, go, do you do paleo? Do you do autoimmune paleo? Do you do Mediterranean? Do you do all of these different things? And we do. We have um, the um, we we have them all pretty much covered here. Occasionally, like FODMAP, you can upgrade. It's an additional um, subscription fee per month, and that's because um, you have to license to use um, some of these recipes that come from one of our recipe contributors. Uh, the, in this case, this is FODMAP every day. So. We have 750 recipes in FODMAP every day if you're doing the FODMAP. We, didn't, we don't claim to be you know, um, experts in FODMAP, but we know we have friends who are and have their recipes inside that. So that's why you see the upgrade now here. But I'm going to take an example here, a simple one, to illustrate the power of what we mean by diet. So gluten-free is probably one of the simplest. All of our diets in here are really managed by exception, uh, by ex exclusions. So if you have a look here, I have, I'm just going to take this out uh, so I can show you the demo. So here we have gluten. So I said I'm gluten free. So obviously I've excluded gluten. That's that. Now, what if I'm gluten free, but um, I don't want any um, sugar. Here we go. I'm really going for it. I'm just getting rid of all the sugar as well. And chocolate. My nemesis. There. Gluten free, free diet. Boom. Now, what this means is, is that you can, you know, really kind of put in if you are having um, allergies or something to, to specific entire food groups, you can do that. Now, Maybe also there are certain ingredients that you don't want. And so you want to eat all fish, but you are not wanting to eat salmon for whatever reason. Maybe it's just a taste thing. I love salmon personally, but so you can find, you put in salmon in here and you find the variants of salmon. And what that means is find all the ingredients that are to do with salmon in the system. I can select all of them and I can move them over. So I've now created a very unique diet that is not available anywhere else on the internet because it's my diet. It's to do with stuff that I can't eat and stuff that I won't eat. And also consider a diet to be something that you're going to apply mostly for your entire household, family, whatever your setup is. And if you're on your own, fantastic. But a lot of people are at least in, you know, have a partner um, or have children or what have you. And they're trying to create a meal plan that's going to work in the main for most people. Because you don't want to go to the shops twice and you are wanting to eat a specific way, but you have to adhere to, you know, every, everyone else's sensibilities. So that's what this is about. Creating a diet that actually works for your household. So I save that. Real Plans then carves off the recipes that do fit in your diet and those that don't and separates them out. This is now called My Diet you have your own specific diet that you've created. Having done that, then you can create a schedule. So a schedule really means what kind, how many recipes do you want on your plan each week as an initial recommendation? And maybe you want specific recipes to fall on specific times. I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. Um, how many people are I feeding? Four. How many times do I want to cook dinner of an evening? And by that, I mean, how many different recipes do you want to cook? And maybe you want leftovers. So here I'm going to have, I'm feeding four people. I'm going to be cooking for four people that, that evening. But then I'm also going to cook another leftover for four people one time. So what happens here is, of course, I'm now doubling the quantity 
of the ingredients. So your shopping list will now, instead of one pound of chicken or whatever, will have two pounds of chicken um, given to you in your shopping list so that you have planned leftovers. I think leftovers for me have always been something that, and maybe not Katie's very organized, but for me is in, in our household, it's always been a kind of a, you feel lucky when you have leftovers. You know, you open the fridge, you go, ooh, remember that we, we were, we, we have something left over. We didn't eat all that food last night. Great, I've got some lunch. Whereas this is saying, let's plan for the leftovers. And this effectively halves the amount of time that you're cooking. Because throwing in a few extra or peeling a few extra carrots and stuff um, is not gonna be a big few time-wise. So then we have our lunch options and you can decide what you want to do. So let's say I want to have like a couple of recipes uh, quick, quick stuff to look at. And then for breakfast, um, you know what? I'm not going to plan for breakfast. I don't want an actual recipe for breakfast. I'm going to throw some stuff on the shopping list that is going to give me some staples that'll, that'll help me out. Um, and then customized scheduling is where we're showing you how we have set up your plan to meet the criteria based on the questions that you have. So this is when we're planning those initial dinners for you to cook. You can change this out if you want, or you can do other things like saying, oh, for the Tuesday night one, I would like a specific recipe, or I would like to have a, um, you know, a, a, a instant, instant pot recipe or a slow cooker recipe, anything like that. So you can really, kind of change things around and that's if you don't have to go in there we we really try and balance between people who want to just you know click a few buttons and get a meal plan straight away and then fiddle around and other people who really want to drill in and be very specific about how they want their plan to work right from right off the bat so this this gives you the whole spectrum of um of possibilities here so I save this and this says, um, this is now updates the plan. So it deletes anything that you've currently got in there and replaces them with uh, the new one. So I'm going to do that. You can of course update the future plan in case you know, you're currently working on your existing plan. So there we go, go to the meal planner and um, I go and have a look to see what's going on. And here I now have my plan. So let's let's count this, shall we? We said we wanted three dinners. One, two, three. There it is. And we have um, three leftovers. So these leftovers are these yellow symbols here. So if I click into the zesty Italian chicken with rice, there we go. Um, you can see here it says make two batches. And so Instead, as opposed to portions, we're talking about batches here. And sometimes we we create batches where you need to have exactly the right um, set of ingredients each time. Like if you're making a, a, a cake or something, you want to al always be thinking of, you can't make one and a half cakes, you know what I mean? So um, here you have the leftover here. And when I click on the leftover, it says you're going to be eating those leftover portions before. So there we go, there's our initial plan and breakfast looks a bit uh, empty. So we'll go and deal with breakfast right now. Let's go. Oh. And... Yes. Before you run off, I'm getting quite a few questions on this. So I thought it was a good time to show. Um, we have people that are interested in nutritional information. Can you show them how to locate that? Oh, sure, yeah. So nutritional information. Well, um, that's a whole story unto itself. First of all, to have nutrition information, um, if you're on the Whole30, we deliberately block it because Whole30's philosophy is not to count calories. If you're not on the Whole30, you can actually buy something called the Macro Tracker. Macro Tracker is something you can find um, if you click on the crown here, if you don't have it already. And um, basically what it does is it allows you to have a macro-centric type um, plan. So here, on each each day, you can really dig in and you can see everything. Um, you can kind of check stuff out. Also, 
you can have a look at calories per serving if you're wanting to look at specific recipes with a specific calorie count. And what's pretty interesting about this, I'm going to be messing up my plan here, but you see how currently I have calories 1644. If I start removing things, it does it live here. You see this? So now it's showing you exactly um, what calories you have. And also when you add something, so I don't know, let's have a look at um, these, these calories here. Um, and I add, add a quiche here, then it adds the calories back on, obviously. And so you can play around like that. Um, part of the macro tracker too, is that just while we're here, you can also go off and click on the macro tracker here. And what this does is that this puts one portion of whatever food you have scheduled for that day here. And you can also add like a food diary, um, some, you know, extra ingredient, and you can say, oh, well, I also had a banana. And so the banana will then automatically have calories, carbs, fat, and protein, and then it'll show you um, what calories you have for the day. So it's all kind of in one place. So your meal planner already, whatever meals you plan, and you, even the leftovers, it'll show you the calories. And Final one thing of note, Oh. Too, is you don't actually have to have macro tracker to see the nutritional information for the recipe. So, um, oh, sorry, yeah, the yeah, recipe yeah. card. Yeah, you can if you if you want to just kind of just see what's up. You can just click on any recipe. <laughs> is that what you meant to show anyway, Katie? That's <laughs> what you were you were saying. Why didn't you just show them the label? Um, so anyway, look, actions. You should you have the whole thing here. Yeah. So you don't need macro tracker for that. Everyone gets that. So that's kind of pretty straightforward. Extra information. I was, diving, I, was, I was diving deep into the macro tracker. You can also have macro driven meal plans. But anyway, huge tangent. Let's, um, let's think about real plans is it really is a toolbox and it has lots of different avenues that you can go down depending on what meal planning means to you. But for the majority of people, you pick a diet and a schedule and then you get your plan. So as you saw here, I also demonstrated as part of my example here when I was talking about calories that I can easily, I look at this and I go, is this what I really want to eat for the week? Um, uh, yeah, okay, this looks pretty good, but maybe you want to add some things or you want to remove stuff. You can always just go on course here and you can go and check out and go and see, maybe I do want to have a look at some breakfasts. And then you can click on breakfast and it'll show you all the breakfasts that we have kind of in the system. Um, and also what's interesting about that is that it also fits your diet. So um, there is no um, salmon stuff going on here. Everything is, you know, any, anything that I've excluded in my diet obviously is not going to show up uh, over here on the left hand side. And then being English, an English breakfast. Why not? So there's my English breakfast. Okay. So that's how you manipulate the plan and, and play around with it. So a huge part of real plans is not just setting up the plan and getting inspired by food and looking at stuff and everything else. It's part, really, it's part shopping list app as well. And so from here, you can then check off the ingredients that you already have in your pantry before you head out to the store, before you, you know, link to one of this Amazon Fresh or Instacart, you can just go, well, um, actually I have uh, all of these spices. And I can just click that. Um, and then you can go through and you can check off all the things that you already have. And then that gives you the remainder which you need. And of course, these are all the ingredients that make up all of the recipes that you have in your plan. Now, Katie and I, even though we said good morning to one another at the beginning of this call, we've been chatting all morning about stuff. And what we discovered about each other about each other this morning, even though we've been working together for years, is that we use the shopping list slightly differently. Um, Katie says that she knows exactly all the inventory levels in her kitchen of everything that's going on. So by the time she gets to the store, she knows what additional things to purchase. Whereas I don't work like that. I need a plan. And so that by the time I get to the store, I don't get bedazzled by all of the uh, the lights and the strip lighting and the, and the about 10,000 SKUs pointing at me. I like to have this. See here? 
what I do is I stick an ingredient in here. And now if there's something extra that I want to get each week or at least check for, um, I can do that. So I can put almond butter in here like that. And I can say, buy this every week. And what that does is that means that your ingredient, almond butter, shows up every week. It doesn't mean buy it every week. It just means go through your pantry, check off that thing. So I religiously look at all of my, and I've got the whole list here, actually. This little icon here shows me all of them. I check for all of these things every week just to make sure that I have them. Ketchup I'm not eating right now because of Whole30. Or cheese. But anyway, th this is kind of the typical list of things that I'm checking for. And there's the bacon. And I make sure that I have all the time. And normally I have eggs on here as well. So I, I just make sure that I have some staple items available um, in order that I can make up my breakfasts. And so that's what I was going to talk about. Also, if you buy large sacks of rice and you manage that inventory in your head and you don't really want real plans to be telling you to buy rice when you don't need to buy rice, you can just click on rice here, view the ingredient, and you can say that you always have it, which means that if you check that off, it will go straight to got it every time. So even though you might be, you know, one of those recipes had rice on it, um, and I can go over there and have a look to see which one, the English breakfast. Um, no, I can't be right. Yeah, there's zest Italian chicken and rice. Um, even though there's rice in the recipe, this is now, because I've checked off, always have it, just going to go straight to got it so that I don't go to the store and go, oh, and or oh, if I'm sending, you know, my partner who's not aware of what's in the pantry um, to go shopping, they're not going to buy rice. Um, so, so that's kind of a little bit about the shopping list. And you can do things like you can say, oh, I buy all my produce from the farmer's market or something. You can manage shops. You can click on the heading and say where you, where you buy it from and all that good stuff. It, it also runs deep. You can print it off. You can email it to people. Um, and so the, the shopping list is a whole deal. And of course, the same shopping list is sitting on your mobile. So I think one of the primary uh, drivers of, of having the mobile version as well as the laptop version um, is so that you're mobile and you can take it to the shops and you can do stuff. So that's what I've got for you there. Now, let's go back. You have um, one quick question oh, in the shopping list. Go for it. Um, I have someone curious about how they could like note a specific brand that they wanted you to buy. Oh, sure. Right. So um, you can do that in a couple of ways. So you can, uh, under the ingredient, you can leave a little note for yourself. Buy the organic ones, please. This was a very um, typical thing. And you can just leave notes for yourself like that, one-time notes. The other thing you can do is you could buy Stevia ginger beer or something like that, right? And you can add this as an ingredient. And now that will um, come up as an ingredient, even though we don't know what stevia ginger beer is, um, you do. And so you're able to, you know, put that into uh, categories. So canned, uh, maybe, what would you put that in? Chocolate? Anyway, like that. And you can add that as an ingredient. And then that becomes a thing that is now sitting on your, um, there it is. And it says added by you. So that's now an ingredient that only you know about. You can call it whatever you like. Um, I want to buy an oak tree or whatever random thing that we don't understand. And it'll come up. And that's how you can buy some branded things. Anything else, Katie? No, I think that just about covers it on the shopping list. Okay, great. So let's go and have a look. So we, I'm going to go back to the planner. There's the planner. And, you know, we've been tooling around in here, having a look at, you know, some great little categories in here that you can look at. But recipe box is just this part without the plan. Um, and I like this because it, it really um, is a mouth-watering experience to go through <laughs> these rather larger images that fill up the screen with delicious, delicious food. Um, and by the way, where did all this food come from? The real plans recipes uh, came from my family just grabbing 
testing a whole bunch of ingredient uh, recipes and making sure that they worked, that the ingredients were all called the same thing for the shopping lists, that everything was set up exactly how we wanted. And uh, we photographed them ourselves. So, you know, they we tested everything. But we also have a whole number of um, recipe contributors that we have um, gathered over the years as we've, um, we've worked with uh, different people. And here you can see the full list down here. And you may recognize some of these names. Um, and what you can do is you can, you know, most of them are just a dollar a month. You can just add their recipes to your, um, your meal plan each month. And, and we'll schedule these in and, and dovetail them into your plan. And also, if you're thinking, well, how many recipes are they? How, what is all this? You can go over um, and click on this kind of golden crown over here. And this will take you to um, our page that shows you all of the different recipes that we have available. And Castaway Kitchen is the, the latest one that we've just added. And it will tell you based on your current diet. So this is taking all the salmon uh, out and the, and the sugar. It tells you exactly how many recipes are available. And you can see here, you can browse all of them. And because I'm set up with an annual plan, you can see like it's $12 and $1 per month. This shows you how many available recipes. And sometimes it's not about quantity, it's about quality. You may be super into Steph Gordra and uh, you'll have all of her recipes. And it's super easy then to filter um, on their recipes and have a look at just their recipes if you like. So if you want to have, let's have a look at origin here. Um, I uh, subscribe to the Paleo Mom. So you can just go, just have a look at Paleo Mom recipes like that. And then you can schedule those in, you can do the same thing on the meal planner page. And so you're, now you're looking at uh, Paleo Mom type recipes. Also, while we're here, you can import your own recipes. So you can either point it at a URL where you can import, if it's a properly formed recipe um, and there's not a bunch of advertising banners and all that kind of stuff, it will just work. It'll just import. And failing that, you can just manually put it in where you just copy and paste the ingredients, the instructions. And you don't have to be very accurate here. You could just dump the ingredient as a text block and then we'll pass that and put it in and make sure that we've you know, we've set it up correctly for you so that all the ingredients work on the shopping list. And um, that really concludes uh, the basic tour of real plans and how we do stuff. There is one more thing to show you, actually, just a little extra thing. So at the beginning of the um, crazy pandemic that we are currently experiencing, um, Although we are an American company, I'm of course English, and my mum called me yesterday and said, you should watch the British Prime Minister talking about the pandemic. Apparently England's now in lockdown for three months or something crazy. Um, we, we went to the store, Katie and I were talking about how we were going to the store and there were like huge gaps in what was available uh, at the store. Like, oh gosh, we have this meal planner that tells you to buy all these things, a bunch of recipes, and yet you know, <laughs> couldn't find any carrots or what have you. We created this thing called My Pantry here. So on the desktop version, you can click on this little icon. So I'm just gonna hover over here for a second so you, you can clock it, it's right here. And you click on it and you put in the ingredients you already have in your meal plan. And then this will tell you what recipes you can already um, make um, within your diet. So, what we do here is you go in here and you you know you check off what you have and then you can click on here and it will show the recipes and this little tiny little link here is super cool we came across this by accident it tells you the next most important ingredient to purchase or to tell us that you have in order to unlock more recipes and by unlock meaning you could cook this now so if only i had some sweet potatoes i actually use those as uh, this, this week, but if only I had some sweet potatoes, it would unlock 11 more recipes. Um, and I would already be able to make those recipes. So I wouldn't even need to go to the store because I could use up the ingredients I already have. And also, if you have, let's say, a fresh ingredient 
that you're trying to use up. Let's say I have some you know, cauliflower left over from a recipe. Um, I could just put in the ingredient cauliflower in here and have a look. And then it'll now show me all the different ways in which I could use cauliflower and um, tons and tons of recipes to do with cauliflower across all of the subscriptions that I've purchased and uh, everything else. And it will tell me this. And then I could refine that further and go, well, I just want a side dish actually of cauliflower. 33 side dishes to do with cauliflower. Amazing. Now, if I had a cauliflower and a broccoli, that would be kind of cool. I could cook that one. Or Now, even if you don't even follow the recipe, it's a way of inspiring you, hopefully to um, think through how to use your ingredients in a more kind of, um, you know, a, a, a different way, a different treatment of things. And I think that that's what I found over the last few days, um, really being religiously following um, this, this, this whole 30 plan. I, I was doing the uh, winter template. And what was interesting about that is that even though it was kind of pretty similar ingredients that I eat anyway, the presentation and the way that it came together and the cooking technique was slightly different. And so it suddenly felt like I was eating at a restaurant, even in my own house. Better, because now I can repeat that recipe whenever I want. And because, you know, I really like certain recipes, you can then take the herbed cauliflower, let's say, you know, maybe it was a particular success and you hadn't considered adding thyme and rosemary to cauliflower before and mashing it and, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. You can now just give it a thumbs up like so. Giving it a thumbs up means that now um, it'll fall at the top of most of your searches. And also you can just go and have a look and say, well, show me all of my uh, liked recipes, for example. So. There we go. Um, this is a um, uh, kind of a tour. So, Katie, do we have any questions from our, our, our peeps? Our I think we've covered almost all of them. I do have um, someone, Lisa, who wants to see what your dashboard looks like if you have um, Whole30 on. So I thought if you just wanted to run a fresh Whole30. Oh, yeah, quick. sure. Yeah, well, I need to, yeah, I need to get my winter template back up and running. So um, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so this is what happens if you have, if you are in Whole30, and then you decide, you know, after after your Whole30, you want to continue with real plans. You can just kind of switch it off and play around for a bit. But this is I'm doing the opposite round. I'm putting Whole30 back on. Here we go. So just to be clear, whole th this would be one of the many ways in which we can cons we can make real plans feel slightly different based on how you are relating to meal planning right now. So the dashboard for meal plan for Whole30 looks different in that here now I can put in a start date and I can get on and I can, now it sets my diet to Whole30. And what's super interesting is that I'm now a salmonless Whole30 still. So I'm still, um, essentially saying, I want to do Whole30, and I still don't like asparagus or whatever it is. Um, now, let me just show you, pretty much everything's the same here other than you're starting on a specific date. The one thing to show you here is that, well, two things. One is the Whole30 template. So I was doing, I'm currently doing, if you want to remove this, I do. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm, you can, you can basically set up your, um, you can pick a template here. And so this one, um, so, and I can say, all right, I'm going to start today with the winter hole 30, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna over- Why would I plan. pick a template? Oh, why would I pick a template? I'm, I'm gonna show you now. Um, in It has, templates are directly from the whole 30 headquarters and they you know engineered this this thing exactly it's a very prescriptive meal plan um where they've set out exactly what you're going to be eating and also they have like little love notes throughout your whole 30 um saying okay this is the hangover day this is the day when you're going to have the tiger blood and you know all that kind of good stuff and they set you up in a way so i'll show you now what that looks like um, here, so you can see. So this is what this is what I've been up to. 
Uh, this is what I got up to on the first few days here. The sweet and spicy hash, by the way. I highly recommend this. It's so, so good. I'm going to, I even though, you know, I'm part, I'm, I'm make this thing i'm gonna put a rating in here and kind of give it a five star oh you can you can do that here look let me go rate this recipe i will five stars catchy headline amazing recipe uh right review so many flavors um so anyway uh there's it's it's quite the most amazing um it's quite the most amazing uh dish so what what happens is that they put in this they put in this template for you and then it has all these little notes directly from them that you can you can go in um so there you go katie we good yes i believe so oh, slightly longer than usual try to keep it within half an hour but i think that there, hopefully there's a lot of useful information in there for you and you're all sticking around and listening to what we've got to say so happy new year everyone and you know we've been doing this for a number of years and the reason we do this is because we want people to feel better and to feel organized and just feel good within their bodies. To, to have nine and a half hours sleep is a monumental thing for me. I struggle with my, um, as many people do, the connection to sugar and uh, kind of yo-yo, like I'm super healthy for a few weeks and then I go, oh, look at that thing and I eat it and then it doesn't bode well for me. Um, but to have nine and a half hours sleep means that I'm functioning better. My brain's good. I'm super enthusiastic, <laughs> just on my game. Um, and that was from changing my diet. How cool is that? So um, welcome to Real Plans. And I hope that this, uh, this helps you get your breakthroughs and, and gets you excited um, and, and makes a difference for you too. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. And uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, Katie. Bye. Thanks again. Absolutely. Have a great one.